Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are building Emma's fashion shop, not to be confused with Andrea's accessories shop, even though there are quite a few similarities, but there are lots and lots of differences. But even down to the fact that the scooter was included in both of the sets and Emma and Andrea also, they must team up to do accessories and fashion. But anyway, there are 343 pieces in this. It is well, middling to, yeah, middling price range for a Lego Friends set. And there is a lot in here to play with. So I'm looking forward to building it. So let's get it open and see what's inside. Obviously, they're gonna be bricks inside because that's what we build with. Here we go. We've got the lavender base plate. We've got three bags. We've got, oh, look, shiny things in that. Our sheet of stickers and, of course, our instruction book. So we are ready. So let's start off by having a look at Emma because it's her fashion shop. So logically, that's where we should start. She has got a brand new crossover top and oh, she's got that same kind of little defect here where in the forming. But anyway, it's she's got it's coral. It's got like cherry blossoms going up it and the printing does not extend. There is printing on the back, but it doesn't like those creases kind of don't go all the way round from the side. But that's OK. Kind of everything. Here is her head. So we know this is Emma and she needs her hair. And I don't think no, she doesn't have any hair accessories for this particular set. So Emma is done. She is joined by Andrea and Andrea has got a bottom here that we've seen before. We've seen her top as well, but only in one other set, I think in the talent show. And so because this is an older style top from 2019, it doesn't have any printing on the back, but I really do like this gold mesh top. And let's put her head and her hair on. So we know that we've got Andrea and we've got Emma and are you ready? There's no actual animals in this set, but there are actually extra torsos. A brand new print for Andrea with kind of gold braid going over the top and under her arms and connecting up quite well. The printing looks really spectacular on this top. I really like it, but there's not just one extra torso. There is another torso with another brand new top for Emma. And it's once again, it's coral. Well, coral is its main color, but it's got a little tie up the front so that she can show off her belly. So two new torsos, but I found out something else. Very exciting this week. Look at inside this torso. <laughs> I can't believe I missed seeing this. This one's the new torso. I'm just taking off Andrea's old torso from last year. Can you see, you can actually see where the arms are plugged in, in the older torsos. Well, I discovered, <laughs> and, and you may have discovered this before me, but I think it's only started happening this year. They're, it's different now. The new torsos are different. They're like two separate parts that are being plugged into each other and the arm connectors are obviously in the top section and so they must be putting the printing parts on top of the of the internal torso if that makes any sense. And I only discovered this when I found out that I couldn't really stack them very well because I always stack them when I have duplicates so that one on the top goes all the way into the neck like the neck stalk and the ones on the bottom they don't stack quite as neatly anymore they kind of wibbledy wobbledy but this must explain why the necks don't seem to be connected quite possibly in some of them like not connected properly because they must still be having some problems with that uh, with the manufacturing of that so i don't know whether any of that babbling made sense but new torso construction and i didn't even notice ah! Let me know in the comments if you noticed that, but I, I was blown away when I suddenly discovered that. Anyway, let's continue or actually start with the building. And so far, <laughs> we've got something in this box, this box with the little holes in it so that the material inside can breathe. And we've got some, oh, hold on, that's not a skirt. We've got a really shiny swatch of gold, which is what this skirt has obviously been made out of. We've got a magenta one as well. So a couple of skirts here in this same kind of wacky this weird fashion that that lego has decided that <laughs> looks great on lego mini dolls i don't know that i quite agree it looks it kind of looks like a train out the back like a but coming from their waist i i know of no fashion objects that look like these added skirts but it's fun to have some extra little material pieces to add to their outfits so we've got two new skirts and we've got a little swatch of the material as well. And now we get something on a turntable. So we've got a cube here of Lego that we're going to be adding stickers to for outfits. We've got a silver shiny skirt, which is apparently three dollars. And we've got some nice yellow shorts, which are six, six dollars. Is that right? And we'll put, so all the bottoms go on this one here, pink layered skirt with yellow, yellow spots or orange. Oh no, don't stick to the table. No, there we go. I think I didn't put my fingers all over that. And a tealy colored skirt, a little whiny kind of 
beach skirt. So these are all on the bottom turntable. We put another turntable on top of here. A turntable on top. Alliteration central today. And now we get to put all the tops on the top turntable. And these you can play mix and match, but this silver one obviously goes with the silver skirt. This one, so if we line these up, there we go. So you can put these here and you can put that, that little top with the, the yellow pants. This one is supposed to go with the, this skirt. And this one has nice color matching to go with this little teal colored skirt as well. But you can turn them around and mix and match the outfits and decide what you want to put together. That's really cute. It's a shame you can't kind of duplicate them in real Lego outfits, but uh, but you know, it's really cute to be able to do that inside the shop. Okay. So some fashion shopping choices there. Now we have got, is this a seat? This is not a seat because we're very uncomfortable to sit on it now. <laughs> this, ah, this is out. Hold on, that doesn't go for any further through. This is the display for, oh, it's because, because these torsos don't have that, that, yeah, that bit that goes all the way up between the arms, you can't stick the rod in securely. So they kind of wobble on the top of the display. But, you know, I'll move on. I think that Lego is... I'm just assuming here, I don't actually know. I think Lego is making these two-part torsos that go together so that they can print all the way around. That's my assumption, because they started printing all the way around when they started changing how they put the torsos together, but I don't really know. Okay, here we have got... We've got... Oh, okay, we got scissors. This is going to be either a little... Oh, yeah, okay. So this is going to be a sewing table because we're putting the swatch of material here <laughs> sticking really, really messily out of the top drawer. And uh, if it's a sewing table, this is obviously going to be... Yeah, this is going to be a sewing machine. So this is, a, this is similar. There are a lot of similarities to Andrea's accessories shop because Emma also had a... Oh, Black lipstick! So black lipstick here to use as the actual needle. Oh, that's cool! When have I seen that black lipstick before? I have seen it before somewhere. I can't remember. I think it might have been in the Ninjago docks. It hasn't been in a whole heap of sets, but that's really cool. <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, we've got a sewing machine, just like we had in Andrea's accessories store, and we have got exactly the same scooter as we had in Andrea's accessories store. So as you can see, there are similarities here. Can I get this wheel on? Come on! Similarities, but it's not the same same. It's same same, but different. They could actually maybe complement each other. I don't know. We've got $100 now to put in this basket. We're going to put Andrea on here. We'll just knock the money out and let's put her little cape thing. Tuck that down in there. Now it could fly out behind her in the breeze as she goes on the scooter. So that's the end of bag number one. We have got an oh, some extra scissors and extra black lipstick. Very good for when Andrea goes through her goth, her goth, her goth phase goth phase and we're up to bag number two and now we get to actually start building the store the nice big building so let me see how this happens so this was cool that we actually built a whole heap of like furniture accessories and things to sell for the store before we built the store and they're going to go in here as we go so the floor of the actual store <laughs> The floor of the store. It's so when I hear myself back in my head, I just think I sound like such an idiot. The floor of the store, the store floor, is purple. It's purple. That's where I was going with the floor store before I got totally distracted by how random that sounded. Okay, focusing on the floor of the store and making sure that all the pieces are in the right place. We've got some flowers here. So this might be the. Actually, I don't know where the. There's no place for the door. For the door of the store. We want to put the door on the floor of the store somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, okay. And okay, we've got nice big display windows. I really, really, really love this shade of yellow. It makes me so happy. Here's the door. So I like the colors that we've got in this, but the purple and the yellow. Our door has got an open sign. Nice generic sticker, that one. I like that. You could use that on anything. And it's an angled door. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a corner store. A corner door for the store. <laughs> Just stop me when I've lost it. I think I'm close to having lost it. Focusing on 
what's actually happening here. Uh, is this a drawer? Are we building a drawer for the floor of the store? Oh no. Uh, no, it's not. It's not a drawer. Actually, it could be a set, little set of drawers, but it's got some accessories on it. So uh, ubiquitous bows that just seem to end up in all of the Lego Friends sets. And now we can put these in the display windows, the little torsos with the outfits. And they're of course detachable because they're on jumper studs. And now we've got a big yellow wall with a sticker which has got a big mirror on it and some accessories and I have oh, that is not straight oh no 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 I can't do that okay hold on oh no okay so we've just learned some new swears I've, I've fixed that up it's straight now <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that one because I'd already smoothed it down but that's pretty cool so we've got this as a giant dressing room mirror and I think they're supposed to maybe stand on this little stud that is super close to the mirror though <laughs> too close okay but Andrea is just demonstrating how I think this might be working but what are we building here what oh okay we've got a we've got the the till the cash register and some kind of random tan colored bottle next to the till what on earth is that bottle is it hand cream? Is it hand sanitizer? Because hand sanitizer is so important at the moment. I don't think Lego would have thought of that at the time though. Okay, so stopping thinking about that, we've put some lights over the display windows, which is so pretty. We've got those little white scroll work pieces in the brickwork out in the front here. And now we get an awning, which has got alternating stripes of blue and pink. And this is going to look lovely over those big rounded display windows. If I can get all these little squares on straight. Oh, come on. That, oh. I, I love the fact that it that, that it, they're all tidied up and that those lines go all the way around. But oh, the fact I cannot get those squares on straight just bugs me. But I will move on and I will continue on with my life. <laughs> I guess it's not really that important in the big scheme of things. Okay. Uh, we are busy lining up here on the top with some of these beautiful dark blue pieces all the way along just one plate thickness and then smoothing over the top of those with some white and with some white little jumper stud pieces as well. So that means we're going to be putting another level on here which will be detachable. Okay, the bottom level looks spectacular. Now we've got... Ooh, we got a spinny thing with a big... Oh, okay, so this is a change room once again. Exact oh, how am I going to get this... I want this kind of centered so which means I can't line it up all the way with the edges there we go this is the same as once again in Andrea's accessories shop except it is thankfully a different print I actually quite like the print on this little change room ah it goes here so on the change room change room thing so that goes there on that smooth spot so now Andrea doesn't have to stand so close to the mirror while she's trying on her clothes that is so cool I really really like the bottom part of this shop and here are our, our spare pieces from bag number two which means we're up to bag number three which means we get to start building the next level and the next level is not actually the shop anymore this is like a little unit for Emma to or, or a little work area <laughs> a workshop up above the the dress shop it's got a tiny little balcony which is lovely I actually really like Emma's themed stuff the builds especially the buildings in fact one of my most favorite builds is Emma's art studio and I liked it even more when I doubled it in size and made it more functional but the architecture of the building itself was really interesting and simplified but really pretty and the uh, like the facade of this building too just from the picture shows me that it's also really interesting as well so we, I'm gonna pay particular attention to that as we go along but we've got a nice big door going out here onto the balcony there's not a lot of room to actually get out once that door's open but it doesn't matter it's just there for show I think and we've got some pillars going up here some more of those white scroll work pieces and windows which is so good because you want windows in your workspace because you want the, the natural light to come in so that you don't get all grumpy and moody and and you really feel inspired to create and in front of the windows we've got some fencing do you put fencing on the second level of a building I don't think so so maybe kind of like the veranda the the, the railings of the little balcony are extending around in front of the windows even if you can't fit out there as an actual railing area some more of the white scroll work pieces which add some really nice texture and ornamentation to the outside of the building another couple of windows and these ones have got these see-through stickers on them which look 
I love the, I actually really love the curlicues in that dark blue on the windows. Here's one for the other side, which is, is of course a mirror image one so that it can go on there. And I've put those at completely different heights on those windows. Oh, peeling this off is going to be a nightmare. And I'm going to have all my fingerprints under these see-through stickers. But you know what? I'm doing it because I can't stand the fact that they're at different heights. I might not be able to stand the fact that this one might look a bit more cloudy than the other one because I've... Ah, okay, We're, I'm leaving them alone because... Oh, they don't look great though. All right, I'll, I'll move on though. Continue with the building. Continue and we'll distract <laughs> from the stickers which just look odd now. Okay lovely yellow arches over the windows. I told you I really liked the architecture of, of the external of the front of this building. So now we've got a nice big wall on the side and oh, the stickers. And now we get to finish up the, the walls here with some more of the blue, which is echoing the color scheme that we used downstairs. And then more of the blue around the top, but we're going up even higher now. Now we get to take them up to like a pointy peak. I'm sure there are work, there are names for these sort of architecture, but look at these curves here going over. Oh, are those new? Those outward facing yellow, like in yellow, those outward facing studs. I think they might be. So don't you just love the front of that? of the actual building. I think it's so pretty, but let's concentrate on the inside. We've got a picture here of a cat in a shoe because it's fashion and it's cat and it's Emma. So that's really cute. That's just to decorate the inside of the actual building. And there's not, not really a lot of space in here. Once again, I feel as though this is one of those buildings I just want to expand, make bigger and more functional with more things in it to play with. But this is a seat with that really pretty pink and gray leopard spot print on it and that cushion actually angles backwards so even though it means you can't really see the print when you're looking at it front on it means that the mini dolls can sit on it a bit more securely i really like the design of this little lounge suite with this tiny little lounge chair that's really cute okay look see how secure she is on there <laughs> I can still wobble her off, but she's a bit more secure on her new chair. There's a little stool over here in the corner and we can put, we could put the sewing machine table over here, or I think we could probably even put, actually I'll take that out for now because it's not, the instructions haven't told me to put that in there yet. So I'll do that later. But over here in front of the chair, we've got a tiny little table with a teapot and a cup of tea that she can sit in there. She can entertain Andrea or she can just take a break from creating. And now we get... I really thought we'd kind of run out of things to build because I don't know where we're going to fit anything more into this teeny tiny space upstairs. All you've got room for is is a chair and and a table and yeah and a sewing machine. But this is there are hooks on either side of it. Oh, it's a dress form. So not a dress form that you can actually try out. You dresses on. It's a dress form to advertise it. This is a dress shop with a really nice, I like that rule, I think it goes down a bit further, that ruler sticker and some scissors on this hook and that's actually going to hold the ruler on there nice and securely and it goes on these railings here on the second floor and you can, I suppose you can pop it off if it gets on your way when you want to sit out there on the balcony. Not certain which railing it's supposed to go on but I'm going to leave it there. Here are extra parts. We've got another teacup which is nice for when Emma has some friends over and this is it. Now let's put it up here on the second level of for Emma's fashion shop is completed and I've knocked over the <laughs> knocked over one of the stands down in the bottom level and this is really cool so you can obviously you can detach the top section if you want to play with these two parts separately or if you want to get in to that bottom level a bit easier and we can actually swap the sewing machine out with the hanging skirt part here so if I don't know if Emma wants to steam iron the clothes before they go back downstairs she can do that up there too that's really really cute it's really cute it's just a little bit too small <laughs> but it's cute and I love the architecture on the front I love the facade of the whole thing it is incredibly pretty and the colors just they make my heart happy so I really really like this build I didn't actually show you what the new torsos look on look like on the girls so here we go for the very end here's Emma in her new top and Andrea in her new top and I really like them so two new tops for Emma in this set that's pretty awesome all right we have reached the end of the build it's time to go make sure you subscribe make sure you leave me a comment let me know what your favorite part of the build was and I'll be back with another video very soon so I'll see you then bye